Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and connect your iRobot Roomba J9 Plus. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. So the first thing you have to do is download the iRobot app. Doesn't matter if you're on iOS or Android devices, just search your app store. It's a free app to download. Then you'll need to sign in or create a profile and we'll get this set up. Here's a look at our iRobot app because we have multiple devices already set up within this app. Yours will look blank and different if you don't have any devices. So in the top right hand corner, we need to add our product. There's multiple ways to do this. It can search and scan for nearby products. You might get your setup that way. You might have a QR code as well too. And if you don't have a QR code, you can also manually select your product right there. So we have multiple vacuums to choose from. In this case, we're gonna choose to set up our J series vacuum. So let's go ahead, let's select set up. Now we need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. So select your network, then select yes, continue. Now we need to enter our password. Enter your password, select done, and now it's gonna work on connecting to your robot. All right, we got a chime. That's good. You'll see that it was connected. Now we need to press your robot's button to connect to your phone. So we just pressed it. Now it's working on connecting to Wi-Fi, verifying the password and establishing the cloud connection. All right, we just got a chime there. The password has been verified. Now it's working on that last step still. Final chime there. Everything has successfully been set up. It should take you start to finish right there within that process a minute or less. Select continue. We can name our vacuum right here. So in this case, we're gonna name it uh, Roomba J9. Select done. Setup's complete, now it's loading our app experience for our vacuum. Here's our welcome screen, select next. We have software updates, let's go ahead, let's start the update right now. It's in progress, and then we have eight different slides to go through. It walks you through the cleaning experience, how to prep your environment, how smart this vacuum is, what it's able to avoid and sense, how it cleans, you get the idea. No need to move your furniture, open doors so it can explore. And now you're ready to opt into obstacle imagery view. I like to opt into that. You can always do that later if you want. And it's gonna work on finishing the update. So let's select, got it. And once it's complete, we'll be able to enjoy our new vacuum. All right, so our J9 has been updated. As you'll see on the screen right here, we can select continue and we're taken back into the app. Let's go ahead, let's let this vacuum create a map and finish a couple of cleans and we'll come back and we'll look at the app once it's populated. All right, we got our first clean out of the way, so let's go into the app, we'll look at it in more detail. Up in the top right hand corner, you have a menu option with some additional settings you can click on as needed. Next, you'll see the current status of our Roomba, unable to start, place on a flat surface, so you will get notifications like that, cleaning, charging, pause, that sort of thing right there. You'll see we have our charging icon and we have our map icon there. So here's our main floor map, now that we have a map created. Very basic floor plan here, and yours will look different depending on your environment. But we can add room dividers if it didn't get it right. We can uh, change the labels for the room. And then you'll see we have a zone option, so we can add keep out zones. You can have multiple zones. If you wanna block it off somewhere around your house, you can do that right there save it or cancel it, and same with the clean zone. So instead of just doing room by room clean or a whole house clean, say maybe by the front door, it gets really dirty and heavily trafficked, you wanna go ahead and set up one of these. You can set up those zones, just name it, whatever you want, and you'll be able to reference that within the app to clean. So very easy map to customize and navigate. You can change your viewing angle, things like that. You also notice too that we have different floor types. There's our carpet or rugs in this case. So it's very smart, and we have those different layers here in the map legend. Then we'll go back. Now you'll see we have our favorites. This is where we're like, we clean everywhere, clean a zone, clean a room. You can customize your favorites here. So that's what we currently have. We can add a new favorite. Do you want to clean everywhere? Do you want it to mop after? If you have a mop, you could, you know, dispatch a mop too, like the Brava Jet, which is cool. So pick and choose what you want. And there's the Brava Jet. Again, if you turned on mop, choose your floors, rooms. That's your favorites. 
Next, we have the schedule. We have two different scheduling options. Your typical choose the day of the week, the time when you want it to clean. Do you want to clean everywhere? Which rooms, zones, that sort of thing. Mop after. Or do you want to set up an automation so it's smart enough to detect when you leave home? It'll clean that way without having to pick and choose times of the day. Just choose the days of the week. And same thing, you can fine tune your settings right there. Then we have our cleaning history. So let's look at our cleaning history. You'll see we got our first clean out of the way, cleaned for about an hour and covered about 500 square feet. 16 dirt events, so it counts the dirt events for you. Charging time if needed, pause time. No obstacle images to review. If you have obstacles, you will be able to review them there. And everything in green is where it was able to vacuum. That's a kitchen table and chairs. That's why it shows up that way there. Then if we have any other messages, they'll show up here. Product health, this may or may not load right now, but it'll give you status on certain parts based off cleaning time and usage. And then you'll see product settings. We can learn more about our Roomba. We can locate it, clean base, cleaning preferences. If you wanna adjust one or two passes or a room size clean. Do you want to adjust your bin full behavior? You get the idea. Obstacle detection, I definitely recommend leaving that on. Careful drive, suction settings, low, medium, or high. If you're not gonna be around and it's gonna be running at night and things like that, definitely put it on high. Child lock, status lights, language, reboot, Wi-Fi information, reconnect to Wi-Fi, you get the idea. So, and at the very bottom, maybe you want to look at the iRobot beta. Maybe there'll be a beta for you to participate in. You'll have that option there to explore any upcoming or new features that they're thinking about. So very simple app to get exactly where you need to be for your RoboVac.